All right, we're going to talk a little bit about the flood this morning. And I think by living in Stanton, Virginia, in this area, we kind of know about living in the flood. Yeah. <laughs> well, after the flood, men had again begun to multiply and fill the earth. The difference was that they all spoke one language and understood each other very well. The generations of people before the flood had been interested only in themselves. They thought of themselves as supermen, lived each one for himself alone. They used violence and force against their weaker neighbors, paying no attention to laws and rules. The new generation of mankind was different. They stressed the opposite code of living. The individual did not count for himself. He counted only as a part of the community and he had to subject his own interests to those in the group. Had they confined themselves to this kind of social life, all might have been very well, but they overdid it. The tremendous strength that grew out of their organization and goodwill made them proud, and their pride made them turn against God. They decided to build a tower, which was to reach to heaven, to make them equal to God, and at that same time to make it possible for them to stay together. This symbol of their divine strength, as they thought, was to be, was to be built in the valley of the land of Shanir. God decided to destroy their arrogance by destroying their ability to understand one another. He therefore confused the people by splitting them up into 70 different nations and tribes, each with a language of its own, hence the name Babel, meaning confusion. When this happened, the project of the tower had to be given up. The various groups migrated in different directions and settled in all parts of the world. The tower itself was partly burned and partly swallowed by the earth. In the world today, there remains many different languages, different people from different places with different ideas. Yes, we think it would be great having everyone agree on everything, speak the same language, but would it be healthy? Look what happened at the Tower of Babel. Diversity is good. We learn from each other. I think about our Torah club. Each week we read the Torah portions and the commentary at home, and we come together each Shabbat. Each week I am wowed at all the things that our group brings to the table. I always come away with a new way of looking at a particular scripture or an idea. It makes me think. We can all be diverse people in a unified body. That unified body of believers, we can, we can be both. That's what I'm trying to say is we can be both. We can be diverse in what we do, but we can also be unified. Um, I always come away like I said, thinking of the good things that come out of that Torah club meeting, which is awesome. We, um, we can all be diverse people and stay unified, be believers. Iron sharpens iron. It makes our community strong, and we rely on one another to help us through the hard times. We, we correct each other when needed, and we love and have prayer and fellowship together that we all need and yearn for. Shabbat Shalom. Amen.